Have you ever had troubles with the strength of your pinky finger? There is a fun way to practice it. What we want to achieve today is to use pinky to play a melody only on these few keys. While the rest of the fingers play some background. The final version that I will teach you today is this. Focus on the volume of the pinky. It's much louder than the background. It may look complicated at first, but don't worry, because I will show you exactly how to play it. Let's start with the left hand. We have an octave on A and one additional note in the middle, the perfect fifth, E. So we have only A, E and A. And the pattern is this. First you play the octave and then this note in the middle. And then you just repeat it. And to be honest, that's all you need to remember about the left hand. Because for the next pattern, you just move your hand one white key to the left. So from this, you go to this. Next pattern is again one white key to the left. From this to this. So as you can see, nothing too complicated. The whole left hand section is built like this. Eight times the pattern with an octave on A. One, two, three, four, and up to eight. Then the same on G. Then F. And back to G. And now the right hand. Before jumping straight into improvisation with pinky finger, at first we need to be able to combine both hands with the main pattern. So the left hand had an octave and one note in the middle. And now we will try to do the same for the right hand. So play an octave on C and now our middle note will be E. Try to play it together with the left hand, but at first stick to the first position in A. So first you play an octave with both hands and then note in the middle. When you feel comfortable enough, start switching positions with the left hand. So four times each position and the right hand will stay on C. And now the final part. What we want to achieve is to play a melody with a pinky finger. The melody will be based only on four white keys. C, B, A and G. The important part is that we want to keep the original pattern of two notes at the beginning and then one note. Two and one. So every time you play one of these four notes with your pinky, this note is combined with this C. Let's try to use these melody keys from right to left. And with the left hand. The next step would be to do a little bit of improvisation with your pinky. Remember to use only these four notes. And now to make the melody louder than the background, we need to put more force to the pinky finger while the other fingers are quiet. If piano dynamics is a new topic for you, please take a look at these two videos, which will help you control volume of each finger separately. Thank you for today and see you next time.